have a, a bad track record with that. <laughs> whenever, <laughs> whenever the game lets you romance people, I just want to romance everybody. You know? <laughs> I get, I get super indecisive. And I, um, I end up like pissing everybody off. <laughs> I've never played this. Um, I don't really know anything about this game other than I'm almost positive <laughs> it's in space. And I think our name is Shepard. That's the extent that I know about this game. It's under it's underground and your name is Wolf Boy. Could be. <laughs> Maybe, Kaido. I mean, stranger things have happened. You know, this could be like a vault. Right? Maybe it's like Fallout. Maybe we're not in a spaceship, but we're in a vault underground. You know? We could we could go by Wolf Boy. I probably would have figured that out as soon as I press an any key, but I'm waiting on my tab, so. Oh! Bum! Start new, start new career. Sneaky game. Favorite Zelda is Ocarina of Time. Ocarina, Ocarina of Time is my all-time favorite game ever, hands down. It's perfect. Absolute perfect game. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Hello? So, if you want to, we could be Lily Shepherd. <laughs> You'll still be a shepherd, okay. Okay. So, you know, have you guys have you guys ever played Divinity Original Sin 2? Um Yes, yes, yes. Okay, love that game. Okay. Love that game too. It's one of my favorites. You know when you pick a custom character, you don't get like a backstory in that game? Is that the same as this game? It's not like that. So like if you're if you're a custom character, they just like replace everything. Not at all. Okay, perfect. Cool, cool, cool. You are Shepard. You're still Shepard. Okay, that's good. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. You're good. Yeah. Enter. Okay, we'll enter a new ID. Quick start. Create a custom email account. Please log in to access your profile. Confirm. Confirm your first name. Oh, false. please log in to access your profile. I think I I don't know what Warning. I did. Data corruption detected. Please reconstruct <laughs> profile. I don't know what I did. <laughs> Confirm pre-service history. I don't want my name to be Jane. <laughs> please log in to How access your profile. How do I change it? Profile. How do I change my fucking name? Guys, back. Custom email. Please log in to access your profile. D-pad? Oh my god. Balls. Keyboard? I tried the keyboard. <laughs> Warning. Data corruption. This is detected. going well. <laughs> please reconstruct profile. It's going well. Please log in oh god. To okay, balls. Your profile. Lily. My name is Lily! Why won't you accept my name? You've never played with a controller? Okay, what if I what if I do this? What if I do this? What if I do this, chat? Lily. Lily Lily Shepherd. Lily Shepherd. Ta-da! 
Yeah, I couldn't. I pressed every single fucking button on the controller. Data corruption. It, was, it wouldn't let me do anything. <laughs> Confirm pre-service history. Okay, both of your parents were in the Alliance military. Your childhood was spent on ships and stations as they transferred from posting to posting, never staying in one location for more than a few years. Following in your parents' footsteps, you enlisted at the age of 18. Colonist. You were born and raised on Mindwar, Mindwar, a small border colony in the Attican Traverse. When you were 16, slavers raided Mindwar, slaughtering your family and friends? You were saved by a passing alliance patrol and you enlisted with the military a few years later? Tragic. Earthborn. You were an orphan raised on the streets of the great megatropolis covering Earth. You escaped the life of petty crime and underworld gangs by enlisting with the alliance military when you turned 18. Colonist is the Giga Chat. <laughs> okay, hold on, 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 hold on. I mean, like this, this is this is like the best background, right? Like if you ha if you had to pick one of these childhoods, it's like probably this one. Sounds the least traumatic. Um, but is it the most interesting? I kind of like the idea of petty crime. <laughs> I mean, that that kind of fits my typical play style, you know. <laughs> we usually end up with like some kind of rogue liar, you know. Is it my normal playstyle murder everything? Yeah, yeah, well, lying. <laughs> we're gonna do, we're gonna do Earthborn. Confirm psychological profile. Okay, okay, okay. The gear space, so they won't expect the lying. Oh, we could be sneaky about it. <laughs> Soul survivor, during your service, a mission you were on went horribly wrong. Trapped in an extreme survival situation, you had to overcome physical torments and psychological stresses that would have broken most people. You survived while all those around you fell, and now you alone are left to tell the tale. War hero, early in your military career, you find yourself facing an overwhelming enemy force. You risked your own life to save your fellow soldiers and defeat the enemy despite the impossible odds. Your bravery and heroism have earned you medals and recognition from the Alliance fleet. I mean, I haven't read it yet. But, I mean, ruthless. <laughs> Throughout your military career, you have held fast to one basic rule. Get the job done. You've been called cold, calculating, and brutal. Your reputation for ruthless efficiency makes your fellow soldiers wary of you. But when failure is not an option, the military always goes to you first. See, this one, <laughs> okay, we're not, we're not going to be a war hero. That sounds lame. Um, ruthless, like, kind of works, but usually, <laughs> usually when I'm playing a game, I'm, like, ruthless in, like, a charismatic way. Like, they don't see it. We can, like, manipulate people. You know? Like, they don't necessarily trust me, but they don't call me cold, calculating, and brutal. We're gonna go Soul Survivor. We're gonna go... We're gonna go Soul Survivor. Confirm military specialization. Oh. Soldiers are combat specialists ideal for the front lines of firefight. Improved health, specialized in the use of all weapon types, start with the ability to wear medium armor, can train use of heavy armor, engineer, tech specialist. 
Decrypt security systems, repair and modify technical equipment, disrupt enemy weapons or shields. Can only wear light armor. Adept. Biotic specialist. Through upgradable implants, it can use biotic powers to lift or destroy or throw objects. Shield the squad or disable or destroy enemies. Can only wear light armor specialized in pistols. I like pistols. Infiltrators combine combat and tech abilities. At a long range. No, we're not going to be an infiltrator. Because um, we're going to get up close and personal. So. They combine biotic and tech abilities. Biotic abilities advance healing skills to defend allies. This is like healer. I don't want to be a healer. Fuck that. Feel like I'd like Vanguard? Biotic warriors combine biotics and weapons to take down opponents that are especially deadly at short range. Specialize in pistols and shotguns. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I want. Yeah, 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 Vanguard. Yeah, Confirm that's my- facial identification. That's the- Oh, hold on. Change appearance. Oh my god. See? Too many options. I need to- I'm- I'm- I'm just- I'm just looking at the face right now. Well, I mean, okay, come on. But, like, not like the hair. Or, like, the eye color or anything. Like, the face shape. Chat. Okay. So we're looking... Somebody. Thanks for the follow. Like she looks like an old lady, but I think that's the hair. Hold on. Where's the where's the hair? She still looks old. These are all fucking terrible. These are all terrible. These are all terrible. <laughs> These are all terrible. Okay. Is that gonna be our best option? I hate that. What is that? What is the? What does the back of your head look like? Thank you for showing me. We could do a ponytail. Ponytail? Should we do ponytail? Damn these 2007 hair options. Can you look at me? Look, it just, thank you. Color of my eyes, blue. That blue? That's blue. Okay, okay. I don't think I need to change any more than that. Um, I need to change her makeup, because, holy shit, it's way too much. Yeah, even, even just getting rid of the, the red helped a lot. We need a backstory for the scars. What scars? We don't, we don't want scars. What else? Why? Why is it so? Why? Why do they all look so wrong? What the fuck? She's getting better. Getting better, chat. That good? Character always looks paler in game. Go with a tan. But I've, I've never been tanned in my life. <laughs> I've never, I've never been tanned. <laughs> Go full <bail. laughs> I literally never been tanned. with this one. These one these ones look like um these ones look like mannequins. 
Doesn't this look like a mannequin? This one makes her look older. This one, this one's okay. This one's okay. Um. Oh. Why are these all so scary? What the fuck? <laughs> I feel like the more I play with it, the worse it gets. The sun comes up in Canada? Not lately. No. No, late lately it's been depressing as fuck. It's like there's no no sun. Um Chad, how do we feel about this? How do we feel about this? Hold on. Hold on. I'll show you guys. How do we feel? Is that good? We good with this? Cold and calculating. Accept acceptable. Good for 2007 game. We need to rebuild from scratch. <laughs> yeah, we probably do. Looks like a psychopath. Perfect. That's what I was going for. Scar? Do we have a scar? Oh, we do have a scar. No, I don't want a scar. Gotta keep, like... No scars. Do they have, like, the classic... They don't. They don't- they don't have the classic one, like, across the eye. The vertical to make an attractive character this character creator. Yeah, they need to they need to install um like the character creator from Baldur's Gate 3 into this game. You know? The three the three across the face, yeah. <laughs> did I did I miss anything? This is fine. This is good. Profile reconstruction complete. Okay. We're gonna to try to we're gonna try to plug the controller back in, okay? And we're gonna see, uh... There we go. Okay. Say so that, like, this is good, yeah? I think this is good. Lily Shepard, Earthborn, Soul Survivor, Vanguard. We good? Looks good? Are we ready? That wasn't bad! That was, what, like, 20 minutes? AKA, badass. Pale as fuck. Let's go. Once you confirm your character is complete, you will be unable to change any settings. Identification confirm. confirmed. Chat, how hard is this game? A new record character creation? I think so, yeah. Should we just do normal? Mid? Keep in mind, I don't really play shooters. It's easy peasy. Vet veterans. Are, that's what I'm thinking, because there there's five, right? Like there's five. Can you change it? You can always change it later. Let's try let's try this then. Auto level up. Points are automatically manual assigned to show my character advances and level. Level scaling. In classic mode. The original 160 use instead of the new 1 to 30. Uh, that's fine. Squad power usage. I don't know what this means. Subtitles on, autosave on, tutorials on. I'm nervous. Hi, Waves. What class did I choose? Vanguard. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of her family. Doesn't have one. She was raised on the streets. Learned to look out for herself. She saw her whole unit die on a cruise. She could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. 
Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient space faring civilization. The decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, enabling travel to the furthest stars. <gasps> cool! The basis for this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time. They called it the greatest discovery in human history. Mass Effect! I like the music. <laughs> the music's fucking great! Okay. The Arcturus Prime relays in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander. Hello! That's me. I think. Commander. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. Hi, Cupcake! Move out of my way, bitch! I'm in charge. Board is green. Run has begun. <laughs> they should put me in charge. I don't know what I'm doing. It's my first day. Hitting the relay in three, two, one. Thrusters, check. Navigation. Check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift. Just under 1500 K. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. I, I don't- I don't- I don't know what they're fucking talking about. You always expect the worst. Well, bad feelings are an occupation. I don't know what's going on. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so... What are we doing here? Joker. Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth system's engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Yeah, I heard. I'm on my way. <laughs> is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Whose oh, voice is that? You, Joker. Who, um, who voices Joker? Why is it so familiar? Seth Green. Okay, I was like, it kind of sounds like Seth Green. <laughs> it's actually him? That's pretty crazy. Okay. I don't know, um... Can I talk to you? Congratulations, Commander. Thank Looks you. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Yeah. I'm on my way to give him a status update right now. With all due respect, ma'am, maybe he'll finally tell you what we're really doing out here. What do you mean? You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. I'll look into it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Hmm. Good luck, Commander. Hi, Donnie. Thank you. Um, do you know... 
Do you know? Do you have any other information for me? Because I don't know what's going on. How can I talk to you? Let's talk to this guy. Hello. What do you think, Hi, Commander? Steven. We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. I'm just like talking to people and picking choices when I I don't know what's um, going on. Only a fool goes looking for a fight, Corporal. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. You'll do fine. Just treat this like every other assignment. Mass Effect is so pog three wreck. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coups. Everybody yeah, I knows did. what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. Be careful. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not gonna screw this up. Bye. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. See you later. Um is he in here? I'm gonna do a dramatic entrance. <laughs> Commander Shepard. I'm gonna walk slow. I was hoping you'd get here first. It'll give us a chance to talk. Where's the captain? The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. Beyond beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a I paradise. Think Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Uh... What's your point? If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the commander I... what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. <laughs> what's going is on? Is someone gonna fill me in, Captain? We're making what the fuck is going on? Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. What are we picking what's up? What's the payload, Captain? A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 I years. Thought... But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. Whenever this discovery could affect every species in Council space. Whenever he says Eden Prime, my brain thinks of Potato Prime. Um, you sound worried. Are we expecting trouble? I'm always expecting trouble. There's more, Shepard. Nihilus isn't just here for the beacon. He's also here to evaluate you. Why? What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. What do you know about the Protheans? I'm a badass. The school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society. And without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. I'm very, um, 
Lilo's watching murders. I'm very distracted by Nihilus's hips. Um, I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful <laughs> farm and world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds. I'm not the only Before one to say that. Humanity <laughs> <grew under. laughs> it humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. All right, what's with, up with the beacon? Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology, even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a The Bioware game. <laughs> wrong hands. Wrong hands? Who's the wrong hands? Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Heard that in nearly Plus every place we've seen. That's, right that's the amazing. The Terminus systems. The Prime is on the board of the Terminus system. What's the Terminus system? The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. They have to keep model. this low key. Low key. Keep it on the down low, chat. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we oh. got a problem. Shh. What's wrong, Joker? Quiet, Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! Who the fuck is Ashley? after that no calm traffic at all just goes dead there's nothing reverse and hold of 38.5 do you know what that is status report you did a weird thing with your job 17 minutes out captain no other alliance ships in the area <laughs> what did he do with this job <laughs> take us in joker fast and quiet <laughs> this mission just got a lot more complicated Dallas, what do you know a small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention it's our best chance to secure the beacon Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Fuck yeah! Let's go. Okay. Engaging stealth systems. Shh. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you're coming with us? I move faster on my own. You can't keep up with those hips. Nihilus will scout out ahead. Stranger. He'll send you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio we silence. Can't keep up with those hips. <laughs> can we can we trust him? I don't like putting my life in the hands of a Torian, sir. Nihilus it's is on huge, our right? He wants you in the spectrums, and he wants that. You're actually for multiple days already. You can't see the end. I'm still. I haven't played it in a long time, but I'm technically still in Act One. <laughs> I'm Ready technically enable, still sir. in Act One of the all the The yours now, Shepard. Good luck. And I've played probably like 30 hours. We are approaching drop point two. What made me want to play Mass Effect, Joker? I, it's um. Ship perimeter secure, Commander. It's a series I always wanted to play, and I just never got around to it. There was never like a a good hard. reason. Hostiles everywhere. I just like never found the time to do it. So. 
I thought that I should stream it. Hi, Jackson. Your opinion, Mass Effect 1. Um, is, the, is the best game of all of them? Okay, so who are, who are these bitches? Kaden and... Wait, Alenko and Jenkins. Oh, God. What happened here? That's all you gotta say? Smells like smoke and death. Smoke and death. Smoke and death. I played Mass Effect so much with Legendary, though. Feel the time to play all three games again? Yeah. It's a big commitment, isn't it? Chad, how long is this gonna take me? Like, the rest of my life? How do I, what do I have? I have a gun. I can swipe stuff. Can you put yeah, it, thanks. put Don't it away? How do I put my gun away? <laughs> I wanna put my gun away, I don't know how. Hi, Hammer. At least eight years, yeah. The menu button? Oh, that's fucking weird. That's what it said when I was talking. Did it, did it give me instructions? And I missed it. Yeah. Am I supposed to kill these things? <laughs> also, question, 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 question. Does it matter? No, not really. Um, well, that does that too? So that's that. Um, I did something. Cause something went- Oh, son of a bitch, what was that? What the fuck did you guys do? <laughs> what did they do? I'm down here. Lancer, storm. Um, I balls. Okay, 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 okay. This gonna be my life. <laughs> what did I do? I don't. I just started pushing buttons. I don't actually know how I did it, but I did know. Okay, so see how there's a four there. Apparently I had five grenades, and I used a grenade, and I saw that the number changed to four, but I didn't know, <laughs> I didn't know, <laughs> I didn't, oh, balls, hello? Receives a proper service once the mission is complete, but I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, ma'am. I feel, I feel kind of bad because I didn't even see him die. <laughs> I didn't. I wasn't paying attention. I don't just need to kill in his farm. Okay, Omni shell can be used to bypass encryption electronics. Probably defeated enemies in opening containers. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. I've got some burned out buildings. 
things here, Shepard. So you've gained levels since the bodies. squad screen. I'm gonna check it out. Bodies. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. I want a shotgun. I need six points and pistols. Do I have any points? Points, three. Marksman. Oh my god. 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 Boost accuracy 6%, increases damage 25%, increases headshot damage 3%. Uh, yes please. Oh, I don't get that yet. Why can't I spend it here? I can't spend it there. Throw! Throw enemies away from the couch of the four six. Oh my god. Warp. Oh, chat, I'm overwhelmed. Play true with controller. I know. I know. Okay. Where's, um... There he is. Who are you? Elenko. What do you want to do? Do you want to be, uh... First aid dude? Um. There. You can, you can have those. Okay. 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 Don't worry about skills yet. I got all the skills. <laughs> I got all the skills. Attack your target. Have a specific squad mate move to a point. Regroup and follow you. Fuck yeah. How you doing, buddy? I don't know. I don't know what the the blue blue is shield, red is health. Yeah, blue is shield, red is health. Oh my god! <laughs> I just <just> want <laughs> We can talk now. We can talk now. Twelve. You the one in charge here, ma'am. Um, are you okay? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. What happened to your unit? Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. You abandoned them?! What the fuck? Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? No. I think they're Geth. The Geth, Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. Um... You're coming with us, Williams. We need that beacon. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. Oh, fuck yeah, it is! Tell me more about this, though. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. 
Nobody's really heard much from them since. Describe what happened okay. leading up to the attack. Okay. We okay. were sent out a couple of nights ago from okay. the main colony to secure the area. Seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. And the scientists? What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Move out! We don't have to, like, yell at her. Like... <laughs> what the fuck, Shepard? Move out! Like, thanks for the information. Um... Game is so comfy. It, it seems super comfy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it seems um really comfy with all the murder and at the far end of this fire. Change your team's equipment. Oh my god. Okay. Equipment. Which means you to equip and upgrade gear for your squad. Select an item. Select an item. Equip the item. Upgrade an item. Who is this? Is this me? This is me. <gasps> Shotgun! I want that. How did it- how did it say to equip? <laughs> which one- which one was equip? Oh my god. Ah. I don't know. I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed! Um, where am I? I am down here. Which one? Which one's the fucking shotgun? I have no shotgun skills yet? Oh man, I have all the shotgun skills. You don't even know. Enter cover by moving up to the rock with your weapon drawn. Approaching a little object will make you crouch to take cover behind it. Oh my god! Okay, Ashley, can you fucking move? Hold A while moving to storm forward rapidly while in combat. Shotguns OP as fuck. Yeah. Can we just get in there? Hello. <laughs> we punched him in the back of the head. Um. All right. Okay. Balls. 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 I wanna own business. Assault rifle Avenger two. Assault rifle. What? How do I take off? Take those. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. Any survivors? You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding hey, in the camp. Hey, guys, at least just on the now top of this I know how to throw grenades. So I won't blame my squad mates. Shepherd. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Are you serious? Come in. Can you, um... Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. So, okay, balls. Balls. When, um... Oh, God. They're still alive. I want, um, how do I, yeah. come here, I want to try my shotgun. What are they? What are they? 
What? Hello? What? Um. So, okay, balls. Can you jump? When I, when I threw my grenade earlier, I was trying to jump. No. Advance to the central core, move around the ring, press A, B to move inwards and outwards, avoid the security programs. What? Wait, what? Like that. Easy. Become one of the best bosses. Oh. Thank the maker. Hurry, close the door. Before they come back. Who are these bitches? What are you doing here? I'm Dr. Warren. I was in charge of this excavation. We hid in the shed during the attack. Hi, Eliminator! They must have come for the beacon. Welcome, welcome. Luckily, it wasn't here. It was moved to the space <laughs> the earlier this morning. Ah! My mother was there behind to make up the camera. When the attack came, the Marines the held them off. Thank you for the 26 months. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. They gave How are you? How's it going? Us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. I am doing pretty well. Only ruin and corpses will remain. <gasps> I like corpses. Um. Did you notice a Turian in the area? He's got, he's got big him, hips. The prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here before the attack. That's impossible. Not a the attack. Yes! Yeah, thank you for the 50 months. I'm Holy sick. shit, it's so good to see we you. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Um. Thank you, thank you. Okay, 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 okay. I like making corpses. I'm also really good at finding them. What else can you tell me about the attack? <laughs> it all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment. The next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the destroyers. Bringers of darkness, heralds of our extinction. Thank you for the fun. We could hear the battle outside. Gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Um. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. We're gonna have it. to kill this Night guy. Is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel, go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. Like, he's, um... Yeah. <laughs> he, yeah. Shoot them, drag them. Yeah. Hi, Alex. Saren. Nihilus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Don't you fucking dare, bitch!
wasted. Stay calm out there. We're coming out. We're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? Uh, they're gone. We took care of them. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Ah, uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. I knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. Well, the three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that. We survived. If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance. How come the one dude has a name and then the other two, it's just farmer? <laughs> what else can you tell me about the ship you saw? Why don't they get names, Chad? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only... Mr. and Mrs. Farmer. Head. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was... Have a good day, Wes. Thanks like for having tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. Uh, ask me about Beacon. Do you know anything about the Prothean Beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. What's going on? Huh? You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. Like what? What kind of packages? I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. Thanks. This should help. Let's move out. Good luck. Thank you. Stinger. Um. Um. Uh. Um. How do I? Give me that one. How come it says I don't have a shotgun? Where's Storm? Oh, it's there. I guess it only does it only show up when when there's two. Is that why? 
Or these are these are extras. Storm Storm is the regular. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um I see, I see. I see, I see. So then if we go I don't I don't I don't want to give my teammates any of my equipment. That's my equipment. <laughs> they can they can use what they have for now, you know? <laughs> Say that's pretty normal. The only, okay, okay. The only reason I say that is because I feel like we're still like super early and I don't want to give them shit and then have them like die in the story like five minutes Come from on. now. It's Nihilus. You know? It's like fucking if I had a given shit to Jenkins and then he just immediately dies like what the fuck you know <laughs> they haven't proved themselves no I'm not attached to them yet a Turian you know him he's a specter he was with us the something's moving over behind those crates Wait! Don't! Don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! Who are you? What are you doing sneaking around back there? I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Pal. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. Tell me what happened. I need to know how Nihilus died. Uh, the other one got here first. He was waiting when Rick your friend Turian showed up. Bro. Yeah, I did think he they called him Sarah. I think they knew each other. Your friends seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. Fucked up. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. What about the beacon? We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was in trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. They didn't, they didn't find it. Wait, hold on. Tell me about the Geth attack. It was quick. One minute that ship was descending, the next. Those Geth were swarming over the platform. Thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. <laughs> I, I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? Give me a bit of a moment to start. It's kind of like something. I am liking it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it seems um, it seems very very comfy. Um, tell me about this mothership you saw. And I feel like I, every single game I like play, I get overwhelmed at the it, start. It was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And it was making this noise, this this sound bored right into your brain that's what woke me up the attack came a few minutes later that's fair to, to be to find perfectly that fair it's too late take the cargo train that's where the other turian went i, I, I can't stay here every I every time i start this. a new game the devs can't win with me <laughs> they they literally can't win because if they give me like too much, oh my god, who are we fighting? Hello? Um. Come here. We want this shoot him right in the head. <laughs> so I hesitated for so long. Um. And then I missed anyways. 
Good, good starting point. What fucking weapon am I using? I'm using the wrong weapon, that's why. Oh my god. I hit a button, and I don't know what I did. I think that was the sniper rifle? Yeah. I think that's because I... I was playing around in the equipment menu. Probably. Hold right button, hold the power wheel. Warp. And throw. Overkill. Barrier recharge. Throw. Sabotage. Why can't we use that? We can use throw. I'll also use throw. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't really know how. Okay. Didn't realize I was gonna do it again. Oh, it's it's recharging. Good job, Ashley! Oh, Ashley, watch out! Can, is she, is she, is she like dead dead? I owe you one. Oh no, she's fine. She's just sleeping. No problem. Easy. Who the fuck do you guys even see? Solid. I want to heal, but I can't heal yet. There we go. Okay. Good job, team. We're, we're Vanguard. What is this? Oh, we're on a train! Hi, Vin! Mass Effect 1 combat's kind of jank. Yeah! Yeah, it's like, um... Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Hi, Jamie. Time. Demolition charges. The guest must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. How do I get over there?
played this game. That's just a skincare routine. Everybody, everybody needs one, right? Oh my god, there's another um thing. Guys, pay attention. <laughs> pay attention! Bam! Did I just disarm bomb with my ass? I did! I'm very talented. I'm very talented. Oh my god. Shepard is nothing not talented. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't heal. We gotta, we gotta be careful. What button am I pressing for it? Uh, B. It worked. It worked last time. This one. Is there a recharge somewhere for the melee that I don't see? Press the grenade button. I just want to see what's over here. It seems like there's like a, there's like a time, time limit on it. I really need some help. Hi, Ravi. Like a bumper car with Gunscape? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Password is password. That's some top tier security, you know? Where's all the fucking help? Just going for a jog. And when combat is, is just awkward sometimes. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. Hey chat. At some point, I'm gonna complain that this game is really hard. And uh, it's gonna be because I'm not even like looking at any of the shit that I'm picking up or equipping any of it or like leveling up. So when I start complaining, tell me why, okay? They're like, Lily, come on. What did you forget? <laughs> you do this every fucking time, you know? Hi, Zach, good to see you. You're about to call me out on that? Yeah. Yeah, I do that a lot. <laughs> I, do, I do that a lot. I no, just want to kill shit, you know? This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't I don't want to manage my inventory. Like when they dug it up. I just want to, like, set things Something on fire and murder activated. people. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Part of me wants to believe um, that we weren't saving him. We just didn't want him to get the cool power. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck we you, Alenko, that's mine! Get out of the way! Prime. 
the Normandy. <laughs> Vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. You don't get that. They managed to save the that one's for me. The beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Doctor? Dr. Chakwas. I think she's waking up. Hello. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Oh, powerful. Um, what the fuck happened? How did I end up here? How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with this. the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Um, what about the beacon? Where's the beacon now? What happened to it? The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. Um, was I hurt? What's the damage, Doctor? Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your beta. rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. Not a, uh, not a dream of vision. I saw, I'm not sure what I saw. We are, my Death, destruction, mm -hmm. nothing's really clear. Hmm, I better add this to my report. It may, oh, Captain Anderson. How's our XO holding up, Doctor? All the readings look normal. I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Secrets. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Secrets. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Uh... Who's Williams? Oh, executive officer. Okay, good. Oh, Ashley, Ashley, the girl. Okay, what happened to Williams? Did we leave Gunnery Chief Williams back on Eden Prime? I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Norman. We called everybody else by their last name, but we called her Ashley. It was confusing. <laughs> uh, that's a mistake. I don't want her on my ship. I'm the captain of this ship, Commander, and I want Williams on our crew. Oh shit, did I say I didn't want her here? No, I like her. Um, you want to talk? You said you needed to see me in private, Hi, Captain. Furious! I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. I read that wrong. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. I did my job. The Geth would have wiped out the whole colony if I hadn't stopped them. Honestly, <laughs> I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Sarah. That other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Geth, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Why? Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Uh, I'm not sure. Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? A warning. I saw synthetics. Gath, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. What will we say? What are we gonna tell them? I had a bad dream? 
We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll stop him, Chad. I'll find some way to take him down. <laughs> it's not that easy. Just me. He's a specter. He just can give go me a shotgun. Do almost anything. That's why we need grenades. the council on our Just side. make sure you tell me what buttons to push. Understood. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. Balls. 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 How you doing, buddy? Commander, I'm glad to see you're okay. Losing Jenkins was hard on the crew, and I'm glad we didn't lose you, too. How you doing? Things were pretty rough down there. Yeah, you never get used to seeing dead civilians. Doesn't seem right somehow. But at least you stopped Saren from wiping out the whole colony. No. I couldn't have done it without you. We're Marines. We stick together. And I'm just sorry that we lost Jenkins. You, yeah, you've said that, like, three times. Yeah, I wish I could have done something to save him. <laughs> I was there. You did you're, everything you're right. Yourself. It was just bad luck. It's been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. Our first mission ends with one specter killing another. The Citadel Council's not going to be happy about that. Probably use it to lever more concessions so... out of the Alliance. Whatever's going on, the Captain can handle it. I Absolutely, feel Commander. Anything else before we head ashore? Nope. We're headed for the Citadel. When um, we get done with business, you and I should work out okay. a liberty rotation. Some of the crew could use it, Commander. That cutscene, well, whatever that was, that dialogue, that interaction, just, um, just kind of taught me something in that I'm going to have a little bit of an issue in, this is a game from 2007, and the animations of their face um, is going to make me, like, distrust everybody. <laughs> I'm going to be like, no, 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 your face is weird. You're doing weird shit. No, I don't trust you. No. No. I'm glad you're okay. But, like, that's... The crew could use some good news after what That's just because it's an old game. <laughs> everything, everything is super suspicious. Um... Jenkins was a valuable Press part X of this to doubt, yeah. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. Like, what, like, what is she is looking alive. at? I'm She's so sketchy. Here. You know? You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate that. I should go. I need to go speak with Joker. Yeah, I still lie. No. No. More likely to trust the aliens? Probably. Oh! Covered items. Hi, Doctor. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? Tell me about the Captain. What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served not him cold for and a few calculating. tours now. No, definitely not ruthless. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. How well do you know the Lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. I don't trust her either. What does that have to do with it? Same well, as a current, yeah, I'm trying to, um... The L3 implants. I'm trying to figure out who the she Genital is. The Genitalenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. Really? Because I heard you told Captain Anderson it was a mistake to leave me on the ship. To be fair, I didn't say that on purpose. You know? How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? 
I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me, too safe, too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. Dr. Chocolate's but humanity who, who, needs um, the Alliance. Does anybody know who her voice actor is? Through the traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. Carolyn Seymour. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Bye. Um. I wonder what I know her from. She just sounds very familiar. Oh! Oh, I turned around on the stairs. Um, Rapt, thank you. <laughs> thank you for gifting five subs to the community. I really appreciate it. That's very kind. Um, guys, if you I'm gonna go up this set of stairs, it seems safer. Um, if you go get a sub, please enjoy the emotes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Open. Hello. Did he just salute me? Do it again. No. Not sure where I know her from. I have a plan. Oh. Oh. subs to the community that's very kind guys enjoy um enjoy the emotes balls <sighs> she's been in a ton of stuff including live action movies and tv shows yeah i haven't i ha i never played gears of war it didn't appeal to me at all because i'm not a bro um and uh what what was the other one i hadn't played that either never played gears no no, I haven't played Gears. What what was the um, Oh no, I still would probably I haven't no, I haven't played that. So I don't I don't know. I I must know her from either like a movie or TV shows or something. Joker. Seth Green. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Probably Matlock, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I haven't played um, Dragon Age. I do want to though. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to Dock 422. is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. 
Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. Potato I prime. have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Here's the truth. Seren's a threat to every human colony out there. If they don't stop him, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done you shut your mouth, enough Commander. to jeopardize your candidacy oh, with the me. Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Current location marked on your map. Oh, no, I didn't! Put it away. Put your gun away. Put your gun away. Put your, put your fucking gun away, Lily. Destination. Oh my god. The map is overwhelming. Okay. What can we steal? I want to steal stuff. Guys, um, oh my god, ah! Captain Hendrickson reported some unusual energy readings from patrol at the Argos Row Cluster. She had a particular concern about the Hydra system. So, called before team could investigate further. Easy, prioritize. Our priorities, yeah, yeah, yeah. We like that's my number one priority in every game. See what you can steal. You know. I understand. Who are these guys? Who are you? Hello. Very serious. Hello there, human. Hi. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You What's seem wrong? distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong. And it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. What happened? What did this Asari do to get you so upset? He's cool. I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Where is she? Where can I find the Cesari Consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices Thank you. are easy enough to Who the fuck are you? Good day, human. Can I talk to you? Please, greeting. Human, it is always good to see your kind. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. <laughs> I delight in telling the history of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly, we Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. Our society is built on small, tight-knit groups. Though we are always welcoming to outsiders, our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. Um... Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movement. Much to the elephant from Sesame Street? Plainly, we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. 
Why do you bother, Kaelin? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Remorseful response, Din. You don't truly believe that. And if you do, Who the fuck I am is this very guy? sorry for you. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere Who are you? Will. Hey! Good day to you, human. Talk to Enjoy me. Enjoy your time on the Citadel. No, this one. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Din. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? He doesn't like me. Why so cranky? <laughs> I'd like to know more about the Tell Volus. Tell me more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. Tell me about Volus culture. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase status. Larger Why tribes so often grumpy? engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. Our society is very malleable, and our government is always shifting and changing. Since we're not physically adept, we trade our services for protection. Why so cranky? You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. <sighs> Chastising rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. Volus territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <laughs> Details. We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. Goodbye, Ambassador. Alright, see you later! Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. Who's this guy? Can I talk to him? What the fuck is that? Can I punch him? Can I shoot him? Don't shoot him. Hi, legend. No, 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 no. Don't. Don't shoot things. Guys. Keep, uh. Where am I? In there. Can I go in here? So have otherwise we're on Kate, see you later! <laughs> okay, bye! What the fuck? To Who are all these bitches? Can I talk to you? No. Can I talk to you? No. Hello! You look very casual here, leaning up against the wall. Um oh my god. Okay, balls. Balls, 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 balls. Greetings and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. What does that mean? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence, programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. My instinct is to say, like, I'm not interested, fuck off. Um. <laughs> because. <laughs> because it doesn't sound interesting, but I also feel like I could use the information and that if I don't agree to it. Give me the tour. You are standing at I'm not gonna know what's going on. Terminal one. on either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. Do you know anything about Spectres? The term Spectre is derived from the branch of Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. Each Spectre agent is handpicked by the Council. 
Their primary role is preserving galactic stability and resolving volatile situations that cannot be handled through normal political channels. In this role, they are granted extraterritorial rights and jurisdictions. Spectres answer to no law or authority except the council itself. All right, thank you. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Thank you, thank Please you. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. Um, 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 uh, where, where do I want to go? What is this? The uh, Academy, which is this one. Go to the right door and I'm talking there. Okay. This way. You must talk to the castle to gain access to the wards. Okay, never mind. I guess. Where was the council? The council was at the tower. Embassies. It's very pretty here. I'm going to go to the tower. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I was going to ask you guys. I was like, where the fuck am I supposed to go? To the tower. That's annoying that they put the destination <laughs> in the wrong fucking place. Look at that bug thing over there. Please do not disturb the keepers. What are the keepers? Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 2. You are standing near the base of the Citadel Tower. One of the Presidium's most recognizable and important structures. Behind me is the Spectacular Relay Monument, a scale model representation of a Prothean mass relay. To your left is one of the Keepers, the enigmatic caretakers of the Citadel, working on a control panel. You may see Keepers involved in various tasks throughout all levels of the Citadel. See chat? We ask Don't that you do not interfere with them in them. any way. Don't shoot them. The keepers are essential to the smooth operation. They should of the have Citadel. taken away my gun. Obstructing their daily work will result in harsh penalties, including incarceration and rehabilitation. That's all for now. Don't Thank shoot you for using keepers. Athena. Have a pleasant day. <laughs> Don't shoot keepers. Everybody in? The council isn't going to ask any questions, are they? I doubt it. We've made our reports. Now we just have to trust Ambassador Udina. No, we don't, sir. Why didn't that work? You can't save in the elevator. Guys. Garrus. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Hi. Commander Shepard. Garrus Vakarian. I'm Lily. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Who was that? Who were you just talking to? That was Executor Palin, head of Citadel Security, my boss. He'll be presenting my findings on Saren to the Council. I read, <laughs> I read his name as Executioner. Um. <laughs> I'm like, oh, he gets to kill people. He's dangerous. <laughs> um, what'd you find? Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a specter. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Oh, Garrus, no. I'm gonna fuck this up. 
You should not. No. Don't put your faith in me. already started. Come on. Lily Shepard, lead executioner, yeah. <laughs> the death attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow specter and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Oh, thanks, James. I appreciate that. Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place. I didn't like any of those options. You're not ready by the to way. join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. If I'm proof, you can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? Ah. Uh... You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. This is my very first time playing Mass Effect, yeah. It was a mistake yeah, bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. How do you know Saren? Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like, and he has to be stopped. Now what? What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. Executioner? Right. He was asking for more time Aiden, to finish his report. He was the Executioner. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. <laughs> I'll talk to him. Any idea where we could find him? <laughs> My robot is going well. I have you? a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. I'm on it. I'll take care of it. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. What background did we choose? Harkin's probably getting drunk uh, at Cora's It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the ward. What background did we choose, guys? We were... Earthborn? 
Um, solo survivor? Solo survivor? Parkin's probably getting drunk. Any other leads? Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren. But his information won't come cheap. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago. I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target. But a lot of people died along the way. Innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. Bitches. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Um, um, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, Harkin. You don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. But I guess enough was enough. I protect him. The guy's a scumbag. He should have been cut loose a long time ago. Hi, Valfoy. He was one of the first This is the first one, yeah. Officers. Guess it would have looked bad if he got fired. A lot of backroom deals were worked out over the years to keep him on the force. Politics is a dirty business sometimes, but it looks like his time's run out. We've got enough humans in CSEC now to stop protecting. I, I should bye. go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. See you later. Okay. Okay. Were you guys listening? Huh? Because I wasn't. So... You guys are going to have to fill me in. Where are we going? Uh, I guess we just leave. We're leaving. That guy's up to something. What did what um, the one over by the keeper? What guy? This guy? Hey, mm -hmm. what are you doing? I don't know. What? Oh no, no, I wasn't. Never mind. Um, yes. Is there something you want? What the fuck are you doing? Why are you so interested in the keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the keep. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Why not? We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well... Technically, we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. Oh! 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 Hmm. Ah, I don't trust this dude. I can help you out. <laughs> I'm not worried about the authorities. <laughs> I don't even know I don't trust him, but we're gonna do it! Um... I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activated each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically quest. upload to my database. Quest is a quest, yep. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. Thank you. Um, okay. Maybe, but I wouldn't believe everything you hear. That's just it. I'm hearing it everywhere. It's not just isolated rumors. Do you really think Saren could be involved in something like that without the council? We're just, we're we're just casually Everyone eavesdropping. Everyone assumes he's just doing their dirty work. That's dangerous talk. I <laughs> you okay, thanks. 
I'll try not to get caught. Soon, shouldn't we be doing something about it? No. And I'll thank you to keep <laughs> That's me a good thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Knights! Knights, thank you. Thank you for gifting five subs to the community. That's very kind. Guys, if I get a sub, please enjoy the emotes. How are you, Knights? How's your day going? Um. So, balls. Okay, fuck. Balls. Shit. Um, balls. Um, what are we doing? Where are we going? Who's in charge? It shouldn't be me. But I think it is. You know? Um, hello? Um, hello? Where are we going? I'm the captain. I'm the captain now. That's politics, Chief. I hate politics. Is she gonna get mad at me for scanning this dude? She's like right here. No. Okay. 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 Where the fuck are we supposed to go? To the bank? To the bank. Let's go to the bank. Who's gonna disturb the keepers? I didn't! I didn't- I didn't- I didn't do anything. Don't worry about it. How do I like it so far? It's cool. It's really, really cool. We're trying to find, um, Harkin. Right now. But first, we have to go to the bank. And, um... Talk to this guy. What's this? One of the Earth Clan. It's very comfy to oh, watch? Very Good. Very famous one, yes. You are the one called Shepard. The tale of how you survived the great tragedy on Akuz is truly remarkable. I am amazed each time I hear it. Who are you? You've got me at a disadvantage here. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barla Vaughn. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. I need- I need your help. I heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? You're very blunt, Shepard. But you're right. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. And I do know something about Saren. Can we make a deal? I hear your information can be expensive. Normally, this information would cost a small fortune, but these are exceptional circumstances, so I am going to give it to you for free. What What's a bargain! The there is no catch. The Shadow Broker is quite upset with Saren right now. They used to do a lot of business until Saren turned on him. It's not the only one. Saren's turned on a lot of people lately. Mega Sus? Yeah. I don't know the details, but mm. the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. That's not much to go on. I just told you that the most famous specter in the galaxy betrayed the Shadow Broker. Quite a bargain, considering the price. Speak with the Krogan if you want to learn more. I heard he was paying a visit to Citadel Security. Citadel Security. If you hurry, you might catch him before he leaves the Academy. Thanks for the info. Okay, bye. My pleasure, Commander. Um, where does this go? Who are you? Welcome. I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? 
Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Navy. Excellent. You should hear something in... Um, three or four months. Oh! Okay, bye. I think I'm done here. <laughs> oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Fuck off. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with her. Yes, of course, mistress. Oh, the slow walk. Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Why? What does she want to see me for? I don't know. You'll have to ask her yourself. Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. into a trap <laughs> this is a trap chat hi I brought friends I hope that's okay <laughs> that is close enough commander I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our citadel who are you what exactly do you do that depends on your needs I offer advice to some comfort to others. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. What is it? Tell me about this problem you're having. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Cora's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. You, you don't gotta touch my face. I'm on board. It's okay. <laughs> what happened between you? I respect his privacy I I... too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. Okay. What exactly do you want me to tell him? Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince oh, see, now you're just embarrassing yourself. lies about me, I like, would what the be fuck very are you doing? grateful. Now I must ask you to take your leave. <laughs> I have many clients waiting yeah, to see Yeah, that was me. weird. I'm gonna go. Come on, friends. Is this the bar? Bartender! Uh, I suppose. Besides, the consort's nothing like the girl's back. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? Goodbye. <laughs> So long, Commander. Have a pleasant I, day. I wanted information. <laughs> I wanted information. I didn't want to drink. What do you want? Oh, Commander. Hi. Is there something I could do for you? Relax, Private. This isn't an inspection. Right. Sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? What can you tell me about the Asari Consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with things. You never went to see her, did you, Fredericks? I, uh... No, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Pause it in your Try journal, not yeah. not to get into too much trouble. I will. Have fun, that is. Okay, bye! I want to talk to you. No, fuck off. You. I don't have time to talk. Ashley, I'm not busy. trying to talk to you. Oh wait. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. You don't want to talk to me. Never mind. Okay. 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 So this isn't the bar that we were looking for. We're looking for. Another bar. So we're gonna go talk to that bartender and honestly just leave. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. 
I will kill him. Is that John Goodman? It sounds like John Goodman. You? I want you to try. <laughs> Go on. Get out of here. Rex. Yes, human. You're not sure? We don't think so? It kind of does. Okay, but you know who it, like, it's, it sounds like, specifically? It sounds like John Goodman when he played the T-Rex in We're Back, A Dinosaur Story. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have seen that movie before, um, but he sounds exactly like that. I'm trying to bring down Saren. Barla Vaughn said to talk to you. Barlevon is a wise man. We may share a common goal here. The dinosaur show? No, 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 no. We're back a dinosaur story. No, no, no. Not that, Zach. No. No, it was a cartoon movie. Roll back the rock to the dawn of time. I fucking love that song. <laughs> and now it's stuck in my head. Yeah, I used to watch it all the time with one of my friends. Um. Enlighten me. Oh, cool. I've been hired to kill the owner of Korra's den, a man named Fist. He did something very foolish. What'd he do? He betrayed the Shadow Broker. A Quarian showed up here on the Citadel. She was on the run. She wanted to trade information for a safe place to hide, so she went to Fist. He promised to arrange a meeting between her and the Shadow Broker. Instead, he contacted Saren. Why? What does Saren have to do with this? Well, the Corian has something that connects Saren to the Geth. He paid Fist a small fortune for her. If we get our hands on that evidence, we can prove that Saren's a traitor. The Council will have to listen to us. Where's the Corian now? Last I heard, Fist still had her. Probably somewhere inside his club. You help me kill Fist, she's all yours. I want to know more about your employer. Can't tell you much. All I got was a coded message with the details of the job. Standard procedure. What about Garrus, that Turian? He wants to take Saren down too. He might come in handy. He was here just before you showed up. Said he was going to follow up a lead on his investigation. Wanted to speak to the doctor at the med clinic. Move out. get two people I only get two people because we're bringing Rex because I mean come on um I don't trust either of these bitches Trust Rex. Yeah. This guy's got a name. We should probably talk to him. Hey there. Hi, Jade. Oh, How's your day going? You're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? Who are you? What are you Hi, doing Chris. here? Hi, Chris. I am Jaleed. I came here to seek aid from the authorities, but they won't listen to me. My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. Kill you? How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. What do you need? Is there something I can do? Uh, talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. Do you want me to, like, rough him up a little bit or anything? He thinks he can just push me around. But you'll show him, won't you? I'll help you. Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorban. He's a Salarian. 
You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Shorban? That's the guy who asked us to scan the Keepers. The Keepers? Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. I see. I better look into this right away. Find out what he's up to. Anything's possible with Shorban these days. Well, good luck. Thank you. Okay, so... Balls. Fuck. Okay, balls. Um... Alright, we got it. We got a. We got a lot to do. We got a lot to do, guys. We have so many missions right now. I'm surprised you're willing to fight Krogan, Rex. I thought you'd stand with your own. Anyone who fights us is either stupid or on Saren's payroll. Killing the latter is business. Killing the former. The shotgun is issue. Oh, they're they're universe. level based. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I figured it must be like something like that. Where it was just like, in, in time, it'll get unlocked. Mm -hmm. What was that little, did you see that little, what, what was that? On the screen. Okay, so that's the bar. That's the bar, guys. Hi. Commander, I wasn't expecting to see you again. Is there something you want? The truth. You can start by telling me the truth, Shorban. I'm not sure what you're referring to. My experiments are- Quit stalling. Your friend, Jalid, told us about you. Oh. You spoke with Jalid? Then you know about the data? Oh, yeah. No, but you're gonna tell me everything. You boys can go. Looks like my plans have changed. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jalid and I just got a little over our heads. Keep talking. The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Jalid and I saw even more potential. So we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the Keepers. Can you imagine? A tool that can actually get readings from the Keepers? What's so special about that? The Keepers are almost impossible to scan. And you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Jalid's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. What? So you're just trying to get back what Jalid already <laughs> stole. We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. Commander. If you'll just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. You'll stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? I suppose a little scanning here and there won't hurt anyone. Very good. Maybe if you wouldn't mind speaking with Jalid. The data you're gathering for me is useless if Jalid won't help me analyze it. Can't you guys just fucking talk to each other? Good lord. Yep. I'll go have a chat with him right now. Thank you. And happy scanning, Commander. Middle school girls. <laughs> Hello there. Welcome to Moreland. Talk them for shop. me. You want many good supplies, yes? Uh, Goodbye. No. Yes. All right then. Good tidings to you, human. Okay. 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 Oh my god. 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 I know it was you. I remember your face. <laughs> really, that's So much to do. Hey, how's it going? Commander Shepard? Hello? Me, Commander Shepard. Yeah, yeah, I'm right here, Emily. I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. 
Could I have a moment of your time? No. I don't have time to give interviews, Miss. I don't Mom. trust her. I don't want an interview. I'm looking for information. I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. Um, why me? You gotta have access to better sources. Why contact me? I'm using every source the last I can of the day. find, but I think Trapped I've got a better shot with you. Uh, from Survivor? According to your file, you survived back on Akuz when everyone else in your squad got killed. If anyone can find the worst elements of the Citadel and live to tell about it, it's you. Everybody is super fucking sus. Jaster, I don't trust anybody. No promises, but if I find anything relating to your case, I'll inform you. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. You see those shifty eyes? Do you see that? So suspicious. What the fuck? Don't trust her. I didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doc. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or Who are you? Let her go. Oh my god, it's like... Definitely. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. Nice shot. You took him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. Who are those men? Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They worked for Feast. They wanted to shut me up. Keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. The one I told you about, Shepard. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Okay. Welcome aboard, Garrus. Fist is going to be waiting for us. When we hit him, we better hit him hard. Okay. So, um... Fuck the humans. They're boring! No others. Yeah. Give me a couple of alien boys. Take over the world. No others, yep. Garrison Rex, yep. 100%. Alright. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. The best boys, anyways. I, I mean, okay, so there's still. Were there. There's two people on the squad screen we haven't met yet. Um, but I feel like this is going to be my team. Two more I haven't met, yeah. Take cover! Hello? Bartender. Um, 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 hello? Oh, I don't have any health! Thank you for gifting us up to because it is an Azokran. Thank you for gifting us up to why though, why? 
Targets down. Fire containment system. Balls. Balls Stop right man. there. Don't come any closer. No. Okay. You fucking Watch broke you. my cover, dude. It's okay. I forgive you. Nice to meet you. And you are? Conrad. My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. Leave me alone! <laughs> leave, me, leave me alone. Um... I just tried to help. I spent most of my time trying to stay alive and help the colonists. Shut the fuck up, Conrad! Hey, I know you're probably busy, but, um, do you have time for a quick autograph? Um... Why is he so weird? Hi, Mathelu. What are we signing? Maybe we shouldn't sign this. What Anything are we signing? For a fan. Here. Did you read that? Thanks. Shepherd? I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again. Everything about that was questionable. I don't trust anybody. What does that say about me? <laughs> I don't trust anybody in these games. Because I fucking lie to all of them. You know? So I just expect that they're going to do the same thing. Say, so why would they try to help me? They're probably trying to manipulate me. Don't trust them. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Okay? We're going to run back to the bar. We're going to quick save outside um the door we're gonna murder some bitches and um that's about as far as i've got you boys okay we good we good hello stop right there <laughs> Boys, get him. Good job. Okay. Cooldowns, no energy out of it. Yeah, I was thinking that there'd be like a almost like a mana bar or something. You know? Any of those better? I want to I want another shotgun. Ah, oh, that's worse. Careful! 
what what is what has happened? 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 Easy! Don't kill me, I surrender. Hi Loris! Any information? Where's the quarian? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Kill him! Nobody meets the Shadow Broker. Ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. You son of a bitch! Where's the meeting? Give me the location. Now. Here on the wards. The back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you Ice want. Bug. What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. He deserved it. A lot of people <laughs> died because of him. He had it coming. Now let's move. Yeah, you deserve it. We have it. to save that quarian. Okay. 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 What the fuck? Get fucked, dude. Um. Okay. So. Oh shit! There's a timer. Oh my god. You killed him. Where am I going? What did what did they what did they say? In the the lower lower alleys? I'm assuming I'm just like going back. Fuck, I'm so slow. Shadow Broker. Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Here. 
hit me up. Easy. I knew I couldn't trust him. <laughs> Are you okay? Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the, the help. Who are you? Everybody was so good. Um, who am I? Uh, I'm a friend. My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Your new best friend. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards and all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many- They started it. They shot first. Who's this? The Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? She can help us. Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. Okay. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. Is that true? How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Yeah, Jade, I'm actually I'm playing this on Game Pass Eden right now. Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. A weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Corps, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. Um, it's true. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. Will they believe it? This is a lot to handle. They might just ignore they everything we it? tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Okay. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Okay. 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 Nice to meet you, Tali, but, um, I'm taking my voice. <laughs> but, lovely to meet your acquaintance. Enjoy living in the squad screen. 
Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Patia. <laughs> Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. I'm listening. What do you need? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Just garbage. Mail. I can put in a word with the embassy and speed things along. There, there is an auto the save. in charge of my case is Mr. Boston. Um, when I last saw him, he was in the expensive But it's like it's very minimal. There. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. Okay. 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 So we're gonna go back to the academy, talk to the sketchy dude, figure out why he's being sketchy. There you are. Hello. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? Yes. I found out you've been lying to me, Jolid. Lying? Why would I lie to you? You forgot to mention the data about the Keeper. Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. You suck, dude! It's okay, we're in this together, relax, I'm helping you out. No! I want to tell him he fucking sucks! Go to this website and search keyword. Yeah, <laughs> it's so 2007, it really is, yeah. Um... I'm scanning the keepers for Shorbin, but you two need to stop fighting. You're... you're helping us? But... well, if you say so. Well, if Shorbin can forgive and forget, then so can I. I appreciate the help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. Okay. What's in the menu tonight? I don't know. Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. You've got Fist's files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. It was, uh, no problem. Pleasure doing business with you. Thank you, Commander. I'll certainly let we you just, know if why I did find we out anything twice? that helps you. That's awkward. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. <laughs> why, did we, why did we do a double handshake? What the fuck? Um... She's excited? Yeah. Apparently. Um, alright, let's go see if, um... I'm supposed to get the general is in the bar now. In the is the future? Double handshakes are a thing, yeah. This is different than the last time we were in here. I don't want to sit in that chair, but I also don't. <laughs> that chair is the <laughs> This guy fucking loves it. Look how polite he is. Commander. <laughs> what do you want? I'm here on Shayira's behalf. Your lies are hurting her. Good. Lies have been killing me for days. I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. This is pathetic. What could a woman do to put you in this state? Because she rejected me. Me! Septimus Araka, general of the Turian fleet. You're pathetic. Is she really worth it? Chat, I'm just gonna warn you. Other women. It's not just <laughs> not warn you. I'm just gonna fill you it's in. It's her and her alone. 
Look, kid, a lot I of this playthrough is going to be me saying to, the thing I want to say out loud and choosing another option. <laughs> you need to start and it's probably going to be the bottom one. If you want to beat this. <laughs> I spent all my life acting like a general, and what did it get me? Huh? Those days are over. I'll just be what I am. A tired, lonely, worn-out soldier. <laughs> like, see, I want to say you make me sick. But, we'll say I don't buy it. You're a damn general. Quit your whining. Ha! You got balls, kid. There are only five people in this damn galaxy who talk to me like that. So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general. If you're not a fucking baby, it is. Damn, couldn't hurt. <laughs> Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. Good. Now get up and get moving, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? Sure. What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why is that? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. How? What makes you think he'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to? And where is he? His name is Zaltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Is he one of the ones that we met? Well, we met too. Used to soldiers acting like soldiers. One of their names started with a C. Thanks, Commander. Kalen? You know, you might make a good general yourself Colin? one day. And then there was another one. Okay. 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 Sorry, boys. I keep bumping into them because they have no concept of personal space. Um, let's go over here. Make sure there's nothing else over here. Are there any, like, keepers or anything? Wall safe. Oh my god. This one's so much harder. How do the how do the fast travel things work? Harkin. Go away. Let me let me drink it. Weren't we supposed to do something with Harkin? Go away. Let me let me drink it. I want to fast travel, but I think you can only fast travel between fast travel points, yeah? Like, you can't do it in the map. Like, you have to find one. Not ours, yeah. You've arrived. Cool. Okay. Open. Thank you. Who's up here, right? Strange greeting, human. Okay, this we found him. Really not a good time. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Here, this should be proof enough for you. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't worry. Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. 
I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Startled realization. <laughs> I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Space for my Please, human. I just want to give him a hug. Excuse me. I must go now. Bye. So long. Farewell, human. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, Din, not all humans are as you say. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to prop. I think she's gonna touch my face again. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. I'm glad I could help. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see your skin, tough as the scales on any Turian, unyielding. A wall between you and everyone else, but it protects you, makes you strong. That strength is what kept you alive when everyone around you was dying. You alone survived. You will continue to survive. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. Thank you. You have quite a gift, Shaira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Alcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. A trinket? What is it? A small mystery. I've never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. She just told me to get that fuck out. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. She didn't- They will give you strength. She didn't touch my face this time. Um, no face touching. Ah, this is the lounge. You! My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Hi! Your activities made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Stop stealing corpses! <laughs> you can cut the red tape for a grieving husband. We have to say that. I want you I'm to sorry, release the body of Nirali Batya. Commander, nothing would make me happier. I'm afraid, though, that it's <laughs> not quite that simple. Serviceman Nirali Batya died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Batya no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type well. of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. She's toxic, like Brittany? You think that her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nirali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is, in fact, extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. I'll tell Mr. Bhatia about this. It might make it easier for him to understand. Thank you. I appreciate that. Please let me know if you have any other questions. Why? Why the fuck did they not tell him, though? Right? Like, why, why did they not fucking tell him? <laughs> That's weird. Top secret? They just fucking told me! <laughs> Can't be that secret! I just walked up! I was like, hey, stop stealing corpses! He's like, actually, there's a very good reason for that, let me tell you. I was like, why don't you tell the fucking husband? Hello, you know? Has any and then I was like, can I tell him? Buster? They're like, yeah, sure. Did you return my wife's body? <laughs> like, yeah, you can tell him. I just didn't want to. It's not as simple as I'd hoped. 
The military needs your wife's body for important tests. Tests? They're holding my wife's body for tests? My wife served the Alliance faithfully. She gave her life for humanity. And this is how they repay her? It is unacceptable. I'll let you know what I can do. Thank you. Please Rex, let me know what can be Rex, done. Rex, you're in the way. Um... Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? Not yet. I'll be back when I have more to tell you. Thank you, Commander. Again. Again, guys. They're like fucking, um... 12-year-old girls. Can you talk to him for me? I don't want to talk to him. Can you talk to him for me? Can you pass him a message? <laughs> hey. Hello again, Commander. Can I help you? I'd like you to reconsider releasing Nerali Batya's body. I'm sorry, Commander. The needs of the living outweigh the needs of the dead. Studying Nerali Batya's body could save the lives of countless soldiers. I can't release her. How long do you think this research is going to take? This is a long-term study. I wouldn't expect the bodies to be released for a year or longer. You gotta have a lot of bodies. Can't you release one? Very few bodies had this new type of weapon damage, and very few were in good enough condition to study. Beyond that, Commander, we need as many bodies as we can to get a reasonable sample size. We should kill this guy. When will this research result in actual new technology? If we're lucky, we'll actually realize usable technology from this study in a few years. Thanks for your help. You are not helpful. We should kill him. <laughs> we should kill everybody. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Boss? Have a good night, JC. Will you return my wife's body? No. They're running medical studies on the rally. That's why they won't release This is just body. in a loop. Yes, you told me as much. I don't care what the military wants for her. My wife finished her service when she gave her life on Eden Prime. It is time for her to come home. I d it is unacceptable. <laughs> I'll let you know what I can do. I don't. What am I supposed to do? I'm like, release the body! No! They won't release the body. I don't care. Tell them to release the body. Release the body. No! Um... Need to use charm or intimidate skills. We're not charming enough. Please let me know what can be done. Um, well, damn. Just return in a year. Yeah, don't I have some points? Do I? I do. We're gonna be very charming. Do you like that I put one in charm and then went up to shotguns? Put all max out shotguns and then put the, <laughs> put the last one. <laughs> Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? Uh It's not as simple as I'd hoped. The military needs your wife's body for important tests. Yes, you told me as much. So he's I not don't going care to see what the military reason. wants for her. My wife finished her service when she gave her life on Eden Prime. It is time for her to come home. Mr. Bacha, your wife died defending humanity. We still need her help. What right does the military have to hold her body? She's already given her life. The guilt trip. If the military had asked your wife to submit have a good the test to save human lives, what would she have said? It doesn't matter. She's dead. I just want her to come home. I miss her so much. Let them run their tests. 
that my wife saved lives so that others are spared the loss I feel today. Goodbye. Thank you for finding me answers. I'll be back in a couple days, guys. And, uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye! Thanks for hanging out. I love you guys. Bye, bye, bye.